Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And yeah, let's get on with the video. It is time for the annual vinyl collection video. The video that always seems to do really well on this channel and I don't know why, it's it's weird. This Yeah, so this video, I've been doing this for a couple of years and it's weirdly always been a really popular video. I don't know why people must be interested in vinyl, I guess. So yeah, I've been collecting vinyls since 2018, I wanna say. And so I have a pretty hefty collection. I've had this box for a while. This is nearly full, which is very heavy. I don't know how well you can see, but yeah, a lot of vinyls of which I'm going to take you through. Now, I will definitely say that vinyls can be really expensive and a lot of these vinyls I did get for Christmas presents. So, and there have been some that I've bought myself and I do understand that they can be pretty expensive. Vinyl collecting and owning is not a cheap hobby. and You get weirdly addicted to it and then you're like, oh, nice. And then you see the price and you're like, Eh, that's nice <laughs> but yeah so i have had these since like before like vinyls have gotten like really expensive so like now minimum i see like most of the minimum 30 quid and i remember like some being like 20 or 25 but now a lot of the ones i see that i got for like less than 30 quid are now in the 40s and i'm like oh my god anyway i'm not gonna go through like the order that i in the order i got them i'm just literally gonna go through them in the order that they are in uh, in here so the first vinyl that I got is uh, Panic at the Disco, A Few You Can't Sweat Out, and it is a storybook vinyl as I call it, like the cover opens up like this. Um, these are kind of like my favourite styles of uh, vinyl covers to have. And then it is just a standard black disc. I'm going to have like clips of all of these like playing so that I can show you what they look like. The next vinyl I have is Pretty Odd by Panic at the Disco. This is just a normal, like, single thing, and the vinyl is also black. The next vinyl that we have is Two Birds Live, Two Guys Die by Panic at the Disco. Again, just a standard uh, one. This vinyl is also black. I do have a slight problem with this in that the vinyl isn't like, it's, it like kind of cuts through like some of the songs. It cuts through, like it cuts a bit of this gospel out, which, this is great. I think I had like a dodgy vinyl or something, but since I'm not really a fan of Panic anymore, I don't really want to buy like a new vinyl and I'm pretty sure I've heard like other people saying that they've had this issue too. So yeah, but yeah, standard black vinyl. And then I have Panic at uh, Death of a Bachelor again, another single one black vinyl again. And then the last one for Panic at the Disco is Pray for the Wicked and this one is a storybook one. It just seems to be the first one they've done in a while. And this vinyl is, I'm pretty sure it's just a standard black one. Yeah, it's just a standard black one. Yeah, so that's all my Panic vinyl. So now we move on to 21 Pilots. So the first album that I have is Vessel. Uh, this is just the standard edition. Uh, it's normal, not non-storybook, but it is a clear vinyl, as you will see in the clip. And they, this album has, at the time of filming this, only recently turned 10 years old and they are doing like a anniversary version of the vinyl, which is the pound, but I really, really want it. So I might ask my parents to be like, hey, can you get this for me? The next one I have is Blurry Face. Now you would have seen in my previous videos, if you haven't, go watch those. Uh, but this has a really cool effect with the uh, vinyl cover. Uh, and it's a storybook one, which I really love. and. This one's just a standard black vinyl. So next up we have Trench, which is another storybook one. And the vinyls on this one, I think are green. Yeah, they're like this army green color. Next up we have Scaled and Icy by 21 Pilots. I technically have two copies of this right now because this one, which is out packaging, is scratched, but we've got another one ready to put in. Yeah, so the actual vinyl is scratched, but the vinyl is a beautiful blue color and it's just a standard single open one which i think is the first time in a while they've just done like a single open one. Oh, and this is the one i got for christmas then next up i have fallout boy take this to your grave so fun fact about this album this album was released exactly a week after i was born so this is cool it is just a standard kind of single thing and i'm pretty sure this is one of the fueled by ramen silver vinyls 
Yep, so it's still vinyl. And I have this in a vinyl cover case, which I do want to get for all my album, but they, yeah, they can add up pretty quickly. Next up, we have my favorite, one of my favorite Fall Out Boy albums, and it is Full Lady. And this one is just a single thing, but these are heavyweight vinyls. So I'm pretty sure that means that obviously they're way much more, so they're meant to sound a bit better. And this one had like a little poster in it as well. One thing that does kind of annoy me about this album is, obviously this is what it's meant to look like, but I don't know how well you can tell because it might the camera might flip this. But these are all written in, like it's written backwards, which is annoying, but it's fine, it's fine. Next up, we have American Beauty, American Psycho, which is a storybook one. This is one of the first finals that I bought myself. And it is this beautiful blue marble one, as you will be seeing in the clip above. And that, as I said, was one of the first finals that I bought myself. I bought that on Boxing Day 2018, so yeah. So then next up I have what, this is what I got for my 17th birthday, which is the birthday I have in lockdown. And that is Believers Never Die Volume 2, which is basically a Fall Out Boy, Greatest Hips album, but of all their songs post pardon. It's a really cool, Vinyl. I asked originally asked for this for Christmas, but it didn't get delivered until after Christmas. So that my parents gave it me as a birthday present. Next up, I have "May Death Never Stop You" by My Chemical Romance, and this is the My Chemical Romance Greatest Hits album, which they released. And it's a storybook one, and it's got really cool. It's got like all the members of the past and like present, like all the members that have been in the band and how long they've been in there. And this is basically a greatest hit. This is one of my most prized possessions. Next up we have Fandom by Waterparks and this vinyl is just the standard kind of like single sleeve one and as you can see there the vinyl is red and it's really cool to look at and it definitely has this like big sheen to it which I really love. Um, you can fully see my ring light in there but like that's how reflective it is and I find that really really cool. Next up we have Greatest Hits by Waterparks and this is one of the most recent albums they have another album that's due to be released in spring but this is their like latest album for that and if i remember correctly these vinyls are green which is really cool so it's kind of like i got this at my water park show and i was really scared of transporting it back because obviously vinyls can get scratched very easily but it seems it seems that it not scratched. Next up I have Weird by Youngblood and this is a standard kind of one wide vinyl. Oh, greatest Hits is Storybook. I can't remember if I said that. But this one is just a standard kind of one sleeve one and the vinyl is this white colour which is really nice. This is one of the first vinyls that I ordered, like pre-ordered, which was really cool. And next up we have Youngblood by Youngblood. And this vinyl is a beautiful blue colour and it's a, a limited edition or like exclusive version of the cover, cover which is really cool. So next up, this vinyl means a lot to me. This is the first vinyl that I bought when after moving to uni. So this is kind of like meant to symbolise my progression to uni. And this is uh, Imagine Dragons Night Visions, but like the newer edition which they re re released for the 10 year anniversary. However, I will say, the only thing that I don't like is the fact that this is just kind of st stuck on. But yeah, so this is like a celebration of that with your extra And it's got storybook and I think this vinyl is bright yellow, but I can't remember. I'm fairly sure. Yeah, it is like an luminescent yellow, as you will see. So this is Imagine Dragon's Night Vision. So next up we have Midnight's by Taylor Swift. I can't, I'm pretty sure I unboxed this in a vlog but i can't be sure off the top of my head but this is the lavender version so this is a beautiful so it's a storybook one it opens up like that the vinyl is this beautiful like lavender color marble which is really cool and i think i said i really like how they've kind of color coded the eyeshadow to the tracks and everything so i think that's really cool so then the next album that i have and i had i got this for myself as like an early christmas present this is the Strange Things Volume uh, Season 4 soundtrack. This is like all the songs that they used like in there, so not like the actual like, soundtrack soundtrack, but like the, like for example, they've got Running Up That Hill, You Spin Me Right Round, When It's Cold, I Like To Die. So all those, like, all the different like pop songs 
all, all the different like songs that they used and this final is a lovely red color which is really cool i was gonna buy this for myself like pre-order it and then it sold out and i thought oh no i'm not gonna be able to get it but then i, I saw it in h and i was like oh i gotta i gotta definitely get that and next up we have billy eyelashes don't smile at me which is this is a vinyl i got as a birthday present and this vinyl is a beautiful red color but i'm fairly sure this vinyl is scratched which makes me kind of sad one of the ones i had to transport when i moved i'm really sad about that but uh, yeah i don't want to part with it yet because it does kind of mean a, a little bit to me next up we have being funny in a foreign language by 1975 this is a beautiful beautiful vinyl which is black and white and it's like exclusive it was like an exclusive spotify thing that you could buy before doing this i had originally ordered the clear vinyl like the standard one i did originally want to order like this midnight one but that was out of stock so i, I ended up getting this after ordering the other vinyl and i still have that vinyl i holding on to it i'm either gonna I'm planning on giving it to one of my friends who does also really like the 1975 wants to get a vinyl player. So yeah, that'll be fun. And then the final album that I have is Harry's House uh, by Harry Styles. And this is a storybook vinyl. And this vinyl is this beautiful yellow colour. Um, I'm very happy that I was able to get this this edition of this vinyl because I like saw it was available on HMV. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna ask for it for Christmas. So yeah. So this vinyl is one of my latest editions and yeah so that's all the vinyl that i currently own as of january 2023 obviously when you are watching this it is not january anymore i'm just filming this in advance so this is all the vinyl that i own as of 2023 so yeah if you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment down below and subscribe and i'll see you all next week with another video